Hey everyone, and welcome back to the galaxy. Today, we will be learning how to use the alignment tool. This tool allows you to quickly align and distribute elements in your project. I will select the alignment tool. Before we start, it's important to have the layer boundary size as close to the content as possible. See how the boundary size of this layer, marked by these yellow dotted lines, doesn't sit flush to the content. The Align tool uses layer boundary sizes to align the object, so we won't get the effect we want if we leave it this way. To shrink the boundary size of the layer to the object, first we can make sure that its corresponding layer is selected and active, then go up to Layer, down to crop to content, and now the boundary size is flush. The steps to use this tool start with selecting the object you want to position. Select from the drop down which reference GIMP should use, and then clicking the alignment or distribution button for your desired effect. When you select an object to align, these white squares will appear on the corners of the boundary. First, let's look at the different align options available. We will first use these options with relative to set to image, meaning our entire canvas will be used for alignment. Align left edge of target moves the object to the leftmost edge of the reference point. The photograph will align flush to the left edge of the canvas. Align right edge of target, align top edge of target, and align bottom of target all align to the corresponding sides in their names. Align center of target moves the object to the center of the reference horizontally. Align middle of target moves the object to the middle of the reference vertically. See how I aligned an object in the center of the canvas by using both Align Center of Target and Align Middle of Target. Now, let's look at Distribute. Distribute is best demonstrated when multiple items are selected. To select multiple items, hold Shift and click on the objects, or draw out a rectangle with your mouse. The Distribute options also take into account the option you have set in the Relative To dropdown. I will leave this set to Image. Many of these options are similar to the Align options. Notice how the Align and Distribute options that correspond essentially produce the same result. But we have two extra options. Distribute targets evenly in the horizontal will space the objects evenly horizontally. Distributes targets evenly in the vertical will space the objects evenly vertically. Watch how I can use these options in tandem with the options Distribute Horizontal Centers and Distribute Vertical Centers to equally space and center these objects in either the vertical or horizontal plane. Next, we have the ability to offset spacing. These options only apply to the Distribute section of this tool. You can set these as positive or negative numbers. The Offset X affects the horizontal placement of objects. Offset Y affects the vertical placement of objects. Positive numbers move the objects closer together. If I set this offset X to 50 and then redistribute horizontally, you can see these objects move closer together. If I use a negative number, they move farther apart. Just as you saw, I can use these offset options to define how close or far apart I want these icons to sit and adjust till I'm happy. 
Now let's look at the relative two options accessible by clicking this drop down menu at the top of the tool options. First item is used when selecting multiple objects to align. This only works with the shift click method and not drawing out a selection area. All objects selected after the first item will then be aligned in reference to its borders. Image refers to the entire canvas, which is the option we've been using through the majority of this tutorial. Selection looks at the current active selection. Active layer refers to the current layer selected in the layers dialog. Active channel looks at the current active channel selected in the channels dialog. And active path looks at the current active path in the paths dialog. And that's it. You've now mastered the align tool. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, consider subscribing for more awesome content. Let us know if you found this tutorial helpful by liking this video and leaving us a comment. Thanks for watching.